This is Three Women, Three Dishes. I'm making Grand Street pilaf. And it calls for a 20 ounce can of dill pineapple chunks in syrup. And I bought the one in the pineapple juice because I was trying to keep it low calorie. <coughs> but it calls for in heavy syrup and you use that in the recipe. <laughs> So I don't know how the pineapple juice is going to work. So I have to drain the pineapple juice from the can. First of all, I'm pouring into a saucepan. Two cups of water to that and bring it to a boil. Well, I am making dessert today and I'm making a bunk cake because I have my heart set on using this pan that sat in my cupboard for years and years unused. So I have my bunk pan. Yay! And the first thing I have to do is grease and flour. So I bought this very nifty can of spray that has them both combined. <laughs> and pizza flour, wow. done. Yeah. Love it. Cool. Okay, so my assistant Devin here is cracking four eggs. One box of yellow cake mix. One 5.9 ounce package chocolate pudding. Mm. Oh, good, mm. I got the right one. <laughs> two third cup oil. Mm -hmm. Vegetable oil. Yes. And then two third cup sugar. <laughs> Can I please have the whole thing? Oh, no way. One cup of long green brown rice. And also half a teaspoon of rosemary. Okay. Cover and simmer for 35 to 45 minutes. Calls for two tablespoons green onions. So how do you... Cut. Cut the ends? Yep. I'm going to snip some of it off first and then I use this. Yeah. So mom didn't wait so we could see what a ginger root looks like. But anyways, it looks like a fat root. Yeah, and then, it's like a f root of a tree. And the recipe didn't say you pull the bark off, but we're assuming that you're supposed to peel the bark off and then whatever, it shred it or... I peeled it. And this is what it looks like after I peeled the bark off of it. So anyway, I'm getting ready to shred it and all I need is one teaspoon. It smells almost like a lemon. Mom needs a new shredder. Yeah, that's like 30 years old. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to get a teaspoon out of this or not. Look. I guess that's a teaspoon. You think? Uh, I think you should get a measuring spoon. <laughs> One of the challenges of cooking at somebody else's house is always forgetting to bring everything with you. And so I always forget. And today it was sour cream. But anyway, I have it here now. And I needed eight ounce sour cream. I'm gonna fold that in along with one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Luckily, we only live a mile away from yeah, each other. Exactly. Eight ounce sour cream. So we put our one cup of chips in. Okay, I gotta pour it in. And there's a big hole in the middle of this pan, so we gotta be careful. In the oven, 350 for 55 minutes. I'm making the entree. Again. Mm -hmm. Tilapia and vegetable packets. Thin asparagus trimmed and cut into lengths of two inches long. No, I've never cooked it before. Um, so. Shallots and capers. Yeah. What's a shallot? So, shallot. Mm -hmm. It's like a little mini pinkish onion. Mm -hmm. And capers, which were really hard to find. They're next to the olives. What do I do with this? <laughs> Minced shallot. Shallot. Okay. What does it smell like? It smells like an onion. Let me see Once it's cut. <laughs> Welcome to the shallot. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like the shallot. It's making me cry. <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? Is that minced? It's still going to get the same flavor, right? right? Like whether I cut it big or small. Yeah. What do you think? I'm done. <laughs> so you've got three new things going for you tonight. What is that? Time. Oh, Fresh I'm time. So late. How much do you need? Oh, one. Just two teaspoons. Backwards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did it. Yay! She stripped the time. Time conquered. This is supposed to be till it's tender and or the rice is tender and the 
The liquid is absorbed. Okay. okay. The rice is tender. I don't know. Is it is the rice tender? Looks like it is. I usually like try it. Mom is kind of anti trying things while she's cooking. It's maybe just a little bit more for the for the. Yeah, you still have a uh, some bit. liquid, huh? Some but liquid. I would I would try the rice. It's gotta be soft. And if you have to, you could put more water in, right? If it's not completely cooked. I don't know why it wouldn't be. It, I, like I'm I just, said, it doesn't. I don't know. I'm just saying. Minutes. I would test it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so just a few slices per piece. Yeah. I wanted to ask you what you think of asparagus. I don't like asparagus. So basically, she's not asparagus. gonna like how you, your meal. What? <laughs> she's gonna try it. <laughs> Mom's not an asparagus person. Nope. <laughs> I'm doing four packets. Okay. So. Four of these, four fillets, everything times one. Yes. Place one cup spinach in the center of parchment. Well, the rice is ready, so I need to put in pineapple chunks. Uh -huh. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, so it says place a cup of baby spinach in the center of the parchment. Top with tilapia flake. Ooh, it's pretty already. I love it. Two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of chopped green onions. Mom, what do you think about green onions? Don't like green onions. Mom's not a green onion person. <laughs> Mom's not an anything person. <laughs> she doesn't even like cereal. <laughs> she doesn't even like cereal. <laughs> oh, one teaspoon of grated ginger root. And a fourth of a cup of roasted slivered almonds. Has to be heated through and then it's all ready. I just brushed a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil on, okay. onto the filet. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm just adding some of this asparagus. Mm -hmm. Scatter one teaspoon of the shallots and one teaspoon of capers. So Alyssa thinks the capers are kind of gross. They look gross. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had them though. Yeah. You probably this have them. I'm not a caper person. <laughs> I said I don't know. <laughs> you not a caper person. She Half teaspoon of thyme and drizzle with another teaspoon of oil. Sprinkle with quarter teaspoon salt and eighth teaspoon of pepper. This is not a pepper person. <laughs> I'm definitely not a pepper person. And then top with two or three slices of lemon. Mm. All right. Bring long ends of paper together and fold them down three times to make a seam. And then place on baking pan and tuck ends underneath. There's one. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Here's my four packets. Wow, they fit in there nicely. Yes. Yeah. In the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna flip so it can completely cool. I'm inexperienced at the flipping. <laughs> Very different rice than I've made before. Dif very different. I, I like it. Different that you would eat again? Yes. You would make again? Yes, I would. I didn't think I would like it at all. <laughs> I pre totally prejudged it, although I didn't tell anybody. Shh. <laughs> but actually, it's pretty good. It's a, a little weird. The flavors mixed together are kind of strange, but not necessarily in a bad way, just in a different way. So it's good. It's really good. Like, it kept all the juice in there, so it's super, like, tender. I think I like it more than I thought I would. You didn't think you'd like it? Yeah. And the fish is delicious. I like it a lot. Hey, Mom. Mm. And the flavorings on this are just really good. I even like the asparagus. Oh, wow. <laughs> are you sure? Because you didn't say it like you liked it. <laughs> you said it begrudgingly. It's got good flavor to it so it's not just that. <laughs> I think the fish is fabulous. Looks delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty yummy. Really good. Mm -hmm. I like chocolate on chocolate with chocolate inside. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate oh, so chocolate this is perfect. Inside. 
Cheers. Cheers. Good job, ladies. Good job.